Welcome to this episode of BizJet TV where we're going to be talking about flight safety and yes, flight safety has improved this year. There have been less accidents so far in the first six months of 2024 compared to the first six months of last year. Uh, we're talking um, four accidents this year compared to seven last year. So this is really, really good news. So what we're going to do in the episode, we're going to be looking at these four accidents and find out what we know so far and let you know and give you a bit of my commentary on this. Uh, if you haven't been here on BizJet TV before, my name is Fabrice Sopon, I'm an aviation advisor. I'm also an airline transport pilot, flown for many years around the world, both for airlines and also private jets. I'm the author of the book, The Quantum Economy. If you haven't got yourself a copy of the book, you really need to if you're on this channel, you're obviously interested in private aviation. This book is about business, about business of the future, the trends, the, uh, the emerging markets, and how the private jet is playing a key role um, in helping entrepreneurs expand their business. In particular, if you're going into those emerging markets, you really want to be flying private and you'll find out more if you click on the link below and get yourself a copy of the book. It's also the stories of all these different entrepreneurs that have been using the private jet as a business tool. As I always say, a private jet is not a luxury item. It is a business tool. And that's really, really important. So let's look at these four accidents that have happened so far this year. The first accident we're going to talk about is that of a Hawker 900 XP. Now, the Hawker is a great airplane. It's been built since 1963. Um, they no longer build them now, but, you know, they have built lots of more modern versions and put the modern avionics up front. In fact, the 900 XP does have the modern avionics up front. Now, this was on a positioning flight. Um, uh, they descended seamlessly out of control and crashed near Westwater in Utah, the United States. The two pilots were killed. Uh, this was a Part 91 flight, so they were just doing a positioning flight. But they also were planning to perform a stall warning and systems check en route. So we're not quite sure what happened there. If there was a problem, um, maybe they stalled the airplane and then they lost control. It could be a pilot training issue. It could be a maintenance issue. We're not quite sure yet. But, you know, upset recovery training is something I talk about a lot here on Budget TV. And I also talk about it in, in the quantum economy. It's something that if you are buying a private jet, you want to put your pilots through more training than the minimum requirement. And going and do upset recovery training in actual jets um, is a lot better than just doing it in the simulator. Now, the minimum requirement is doing it in the simulator, but I do suggest, uh, you know, get your pilots to go out and fly some jets in an upset recovery situation. And there are some uh, companies out there that provide that kind of training. You can reach out to me. I can help you set that up. Uh, so that's what probably happened there. The, the airplane getting into an upset situation and the pilots not knowing how to recover. Uh, next uh, accident that happened was that of a Bombardier Challenger 604. And we have covered this on BizJet TV already this year. This happened in February of this year. Um, the airplane crashed on a highway uh, as it was approach, coming into approach uh, at Naples Municipal Airport in Florida. The two pilots of the Part 135 flight operated by Ace Aviation Services doing business as Hopperjet were killed in the accident and the flight attendant and the two passengers escaped with minor injuries. We also show the footage in the video. If you click on the link above, you can see that. Uh, apparently, this airplane ran out of fuel. Now, how does an airplane run out of fuel? Um, that's an interesting one, but I do talk more about it in the video dedicated to that particular accident. The next one happened in March, March 10th. It was an Israeli aircraft industries, Westwind Astra. This is quite an older aircraft. It was coming in uh, to Ingalls Field uh, Airport in Hot Springs, Virginia, and uh, two pilots and three passengers were killed. Apparently, they descended a bit too uh, low and they hit a hill um, and, you know, the airplane exploded consequently and everybody died. Now, uh, they came in low. So this is a situational awareness um, cause here. Uh, why did the pilots go that low? Now, this airplane, the Astra, is an, uh, Westwind Astra is an older airplane. So they don't have these modern avionics like they had, for example, in the Hawker 100 XP or even in the Challenger 604, where on the screen you see the um, topography display. You've got the whole 3D display. You see the little airplane coming in. So you actually see the hills, the mountains below you. Um, and that really, really does help the pilot, increases situation awareness. So if you're buying a new jet, you get this. If you're buying an older jet, uh, if there is a, um, an STC for it, you can have this type of avionics installed in your airplane. And I do recommend, in particular, if you're going into airports where the visibility can be low, um, the weather can be a bit iffy, you really want your pilots to have the best kit up front. And you also want them trained as I said, for upset recovery and all that kind of thing. So you really need to invest in your pilots, in the training, in the avionics, 
these are things that are really important. In particular, if you're buying an older aircraft, you know, put the new avionics in the airplane. The next accident was that of a Falcon 20. Uh, this was Russian registered, uh, sorry, Falcon 10, which is Russian uh, registered. Um, and uh, this crashed in Afghanistan on a chartered ambulance flight. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, this is something that um, being, has been looked into. This is uh, fair, it's happened sorry, over in January 20th. Uh, so the investigation is ongoing see what happened in that one of course you know operating airplanes in afghanistan sometimes they do get shot down uh, so it, that could be the problem or the airplane was sabotaged or whatever so we'll see what happened on that one but the good thing is that you know flight safety is improving um a lot of what we do here on Bishop tv we talk about the accidents we talk about the lessons we talk about the fact that you know it's really important uh, to invest in pilot training to hire the right pilots um and you know that's the first step um look at their experience look at their personality let them be in charge when they're on the airplane uh, give them this extra training you know private jet pilots don't fly as often as the airline pilots the airline pilots are flying 900 hours sometimes even a thousand hours a year depending on what jurisdiction uh the airplane's registered in and that um so they're flying a lot more a lot of private jets pilots are flying 100 hours 200 hours a year 250 hours a year they're going into many different airports they've never been into before while the airlines especially if you're flying certain routes you know you'll be going in the same places so really the private jet pilots need a lot more training but you know the regulations have been made for the airlines um but you know these private jet pilots if you're only flying 100 hours a year compared to 900 the, the airline guys do you really need to be giving your pilots more simulator time uh, this is really really important the upset recovery training as well uh, they want to be doing some familiarization with certain airfields. If you're going into things like places like Aspen, you know, you want your pilots to fly some simulated uh, profiles into Aspen in bad weather conditions with different failures happening and that. Just so that they're aware when they go into Aspen, they know what they're doing and there's no surprises. These are all things which are really, really important that are going to improve flight safety. So, you know, we've been talking about this a lot here on Visit TV. I talk about it in the quantum economy. Um, and I'm never tired of talking about flight safety. You know, I've flown in many different environments around the world. Uh, friends of mine have been training people in the simulator. Some of the horror stories they tell me, um, you know, it's really, really important to get the training right uh, in order to avoid these things. But, you know, things are happening. That's good. The flight safety is improving this year compared to last year. Let's hope, you know, it can continue to improve. Uh, but as I said, avionics play an important role. Training is an important role. Upset recovery is important. You know, invest in the right people. That's really, really key. Um, now, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment below. What do you think? What's been your experience? And if you like this, you'll like the next video here, which is called The Hidden Dangers um, the, of Private Jets uh, Operations. That's a really interesting one. So I encourage you to go and watch that one. And that's all for Fabrizio Pauli here on Budget TV. And I'll see you on the next one.